Hey everybody. It is week 11. <sighs> and um, having some serious issues with pests. They have found my garden and they're so rude. Ugh. So let's have a look. Also, it's my 30th high school reunion this weekend. I didn't go up there, it's far away. It's in uh, Altus, Oklahoma which is like a million miles from Houston, Texas. So we didn't go this year, but um, I kind of like seeing all the pictures and seeing everybody who amazingly look the same. Like our class looks really good for being almost 50. We look fantastic. Everybody to me like looks the same in the face, like they're older, but I can still see, I can still see that 18 year old kid in there. So it's kind of fun. All right, anyway, we're here. So let's see what's going on. Look at that sunflower forest. Look at that. So pretty. All right, so the Plumeria pudica. Look, we're gonna get some flowers and they're beautiful white flowers. And I hate to break it to everyone, but they are unscented. This is the one Plumeria that has no zero scent. Still beautiful. Um, one of these days I'm going to do something with this cat mint, this Walker's Low, um, maybe sometime soon. I don't know. I keep saying I'm going to do it and haven't done it. So who knows when I'm going to do it. Coleus looks great. Graham Thomas heard me complaining last week and he's like, fine, there's a bud. Fine. And there's like two buds there. So, so at least he listens. God, thank you, Graham Thomas. Also, um, this Richmond green apple cucumber is taking over my lantana. So we're going to, seriously, I have to do something about that. Well, I, whatever. I have to do something about that. Like it's coming all through here. Um, anyway, uh, Dr. Witchy's yellow tomato. Got a lot going on there. There. The Cherokee purple. I have one here. Um, and I have one here. Oh, and two. So that's doing good. Bye bell stop. Is the squash vine boar has destroyed almost everything, but you'll see later on how bad it is. And yeah, that's just gross in there. I may have to replant all of my squashes. Um, and the Richmond green apple has covered up my salvia. So the salvia is getting covered up. The zinnias are doing great. These zinnias are getting like close to four, four feet tall. Um, the petal count on these is wonderful. Look at that color. I should have come out earlier when the light was a little bit better. Um, I kind of waited late to come out today. It's probably almost 10 o'clock in the morning. Um, and the sun is like right in my face. Um, eggplants are doing great. And it looks like I do have an eggplant. I thought I had one a few weeks ago, but I didn't. And look, it's broken. <gasps> what happened? Mother of pearl. Anyway, well, I gotta look at that. I don't know what happened there, but we have lots of flowers, which is good. Jalapenos, oh, habaneros, sorry, habaneros. I see lots of flowers. I always see lots of flowers and then I see little, little fruitlets, but I have not seen any full-size fruit. I don't know if they're falling off. I don't know what's happening. I should have a habanero by now, dang it. Jalapenos are doing fine. I see a few that maybe I could pick. I might leave them there a little longer. Jasmine's still covered up, but I do have some flowers to harvest for tea. Um, look at this. Isn't that pretty? This is the yarrow. This is, um, oh, I forgot the name of it. It's like a pastel mix or something. That's pink, very pretty. Looks like these are also gonna be pink. Um, lemon balm doing amaze balls. Really growing. Um, the oregano is doing good and the holy basil is doing really good. And then I moved my lemon tree over here just so it could get watered better because I have, um, one of the irrigation sprayers right there. I'm having trouble watering it regularly. Oh my God. I have an okra flower. It's my very first okra flower. Look at that. I didn't even see that yesterday. Yay. All right, so we're gonna get some okra soon. This is the Clemson Spineless, I think. 
like it has some red in it, but it's not red all the way through. Like I think this one is the Jing Orange because it's got more red. So that is exciting. Super stoked about that. Yay. Um, yeah, good, good. My sunflowers are getting so heavy, so heavy. Anyway, oh, and I hear thunder. Ooh, good, good, good. That's why we do this. Beautiful. Okay. All right, she's done. Uh, where were we? My husband called me to help hang the TV on the back porch. I'm real excited about that. Um, it was a free TV. It's used and it has some lines on it, but we have a TV on our back porch, so I'm super stoked. Um, okay, sunflowers. Yeah. I need to stake some of these up because they're really drooping over. Um, we do have finally some flowers here on the California Wonder, which that's nice. I need to deadhead these cosmos like real bad like super bad super bad need to deadhead those the lesia peppers are really getting red look at that that's nice yeah we're getting real close real close um also these ca uh, carnival blend they're doing okay what happened here oh my god did something eat one of the peppers and made it go to mush. Well, I'm telling you what, this pest pressure is getting out of control. I need, I'm out here almost every night, but apparently I'm not doing my job because I need to be out here more often. All right, I'm gonna look at that. It's another Lesia looking beautiful. Um, let's see. Cubanelles, I think I've picked all, oh, there's one. I've picked most of them that are ready. But yeah, these sunflowers, I gotta stake these up. There's some of them, the heads are getting really heavy. They're getting ripe. Um, zinnia's looking great, really tall. Banana peppers, I think I'm gonna go ahead and pick the rest of these today because it's been a couple weeks and they're not really getting much bigger, at least not on this shrub here, so I'm gonna pick those. The beans are still suffering. I don't know what's going on with these Borlata bush beans, but we're having issues. This little squash is doing good here. The beans are looking a little chlorotic again. I think I need to get back out here with the nitrogen with the uh, chicken manure because we're getting um, probably too much water or nitrogen's being robbed out of the soil. I don't know. We'll see about that. Asparagus, nothing really to see there. Now the squash, this squash. Um, the squash vine borer has decimated just about everything. See, there he is right there. That's the squash vine boar moth right there laying eggs everywhere and the vines are just decimated just decimated see all that pulp that's where that little maggot is just eating its way through the vines so rude so rude i'm just real mad about it um violet queen zinnia doing nice i'm oh i'm so mad so mad Yarrow's looking beautiful here. We love this yarrow. Um, the cactus zinnia looking really pretty. I do like that. Um, beets. I may go ahead and harvest the greens. We're not going to get any actual bulbs because it's just too hot. It's just too hot. I'm not going to get anything. Um, and I haven't noticed the Swiss chard doing much either. It's just too hot. Now the tomatoes. Um, we have a lot of rudeness going on with these tomatoes and um, I'll show you, but it's just brood. Um, the mortgage lifter, there's like a lot of cat facing on here and it just, I don't think is ever gonna be anything beautiful. I may go ahead and pick that cause it's just a weird, odd shaped fruit. And I did have another one and I don't see it. So I'm guessing an animal ran off with it cause that's what they're doing now. Animals are grabbing my fruit, sometimes still in the organza bag and just taking off. It's rude. So anyway, Brad's Atomic Grape, those are doing great. My little uh, marigolds that I grew from seed, these are actually doing good. You know, and I saw a video from Brampton Gardener this morning about pinching and she pinched a marigold that had a flower on it, which is, I don't know if I could do that. So maybe I should pinch this now. Look at there, 
I'm pinching it now for you. Look, done. I pinched it. I bet I could pinch all these other ones too. I got a bunch over here. So I may just start pinching before that bloom gets there and then I don't have to feel guilty. So I'm gonna pinch them out. Yeah. All right, I'll come back later so you don't have to watch me do that. My herbs are doing great in this basket. This is my lime tree. So over there, I put my lemon tree because uh, it's near, near a uh, sprinkler thing. And then over here, I put my lime tree because it's near another sprinkler sprayer. Um, this is my black cherry, cherry tomato. It's looking really pretty. I have had to spray a lot of uh, uh, stink bugs. And look here, I see squash bug babies. Look at that. So that's a squash bug, all the eggs and all the little babies. So that leaf is coming off. So rude root and then these lily put zinnias are getting so tall now the flowers are really tiny so tiny so tiny but the plant is like three and a half four feet tall so that's pretty cool and then of course i haven't done anything with this everything's bolted everything's looking kind of grody um i figured i'd leave the bolted stuff for the pollinators because they like that right pull some weeds. <clears throat> yeah, it's a big one. Anyway, um, let's see. Black from Tula. I did pick one uh, the other day, but the stink bugs, um, when they stick their little proboscis in there, it leaves these little, dee -dee -dee, little pinprick dots, and the skin looks awful, and I don't want to eat that. These big tomatoes, some of these are getting so big they fill my hand big and heavy. I'm just worried that they're going to be all pitted and discolored because of that stupid stink bug. So I have been out here spraying those most evenings um, with either the soapy water or the Captain Jack's, whichever I have in my hand. And I'm not seeing as many stink bugs. I'm just kind of taking a quick look. Usually they're on these uh, sweet 100s but I don't see any. I just don't know if I can eat most of these. I may just cut some of these trusses just off because they've been on them so bad. See, look at this, what I'm talking about. All the discoloration. They just get discolored and it looks bad and I don't want to eat that. So anyway, sadness. You can see where the leaves have, where I've sprayed the soapy water, the leaves are kind of discolored, so. I may just harvest what I can, wash them off, and if they look really discolored, I won't eat them. Basil's doing great. These zinnias are doing great. That queen lime down there, that's my prettiest specimen. Love her. But look at that Roselle hibiscus. I've been kind of skipping over this one the last couple weeks, but it's branched out heavy. It looks so good. And this one's not flowering early like the other one did. The other one flowered when it was only like six inches tall. This one's going to branch out and get nice and big before it starts flowering, so that's cool. Oh, and I did find my garden beans. I found my packet of garden beans, so I'm going to get out here today and plant those. Um, for some reason, the leaves on these are getting really grody. And it, maybe it could be spider mites or something. Anyway, they don't look good. So it just looks, it looks like either spider mites or maybe it's a deficiency. Maybe it's a... Uh, nitrogen or something. I don't know, but I'm gonna look at that and I'm gonna plant some more beans and I need to pull weeds. Weeds are getting bad. I think I've done a good job staying on top of the weeds though, overall. It's not too weedy over here, but so my Pattis and Panache. That's doing good. Second sowing because of that damn squash vine bore. Okay. Um, need to pick these cucumbers. Look how good those are doing. These are the muncher, muncher cucumbers. Um, I have a cucamelon. So far I've only seen one. Look at that cute baby. That cuteness. Yeah, so far only one cucamelon. But look at these here. And since the male flowers have started coming, we should get more. That's really adorable. And then a the little sunflowers. Some of them are very, very spent. And so I'll cut these heads off 
and you can see it looks like these seeds are ready. So I will be saving seed. Nice. And then these cosmos, look how pretty. Look at that. I mean, that's beautiful. Fizzy Rose Piketty finally living up to the package photo. Beautiful. And then more Queen Lime Zinnia. Gorgeous. That one. Oh, how pretty is that? So pretty. Okay. Onions are not bulbing at all. Like they're just not making bulbs. And I don't know if I need to be concerned. Or, I mean, like I said from the beginning, from my very first video planting these, I think these are the wrong day length onions to be sold in my area. This is a Stuttgarter. And I don't think it's right for my area, but they had it at Tractor Supply, so I bought it. Oh, no, I just assumed they knew what they were doing. But I'm not getting a bulb at all, so we'll see. I don't know. Still in love with that orange Cosmos. That's Cosmic Orange. Um, my Bachelor Buttons. Let me get a closer look. I planted these Bachelor Button seeds in March. I have yet to get any Bachelor Buttons at all. So I don't know what's going on. They hate me. They hate me. That's fine. Um, these balsam impatience. They're not like regular impatience, like your shade plant impatience, but they are impatience. Oh, it's weird. Weird. But so many colors. They're still not my favorite thing, but pollinators seem to like them. So there you go. Uh, bok choy doing all right. Doing okay. A lot of weeds. Still, I need to weed. Um, this larger leaf here is my moonflower. And then this ferny, ferny type leaf here is the cypress vine or cardinal vine. I don't know. There's like two different vines. One of them, like one of them is this. And then one of them is this. And then one of them is this. So, got lots of vines, lots of flowers going on. Albumosa sagifolus. Whatever, man. But there's a beastie. Pest. Pest pressure. I don't know what to do about these. I mean... They're really not going to do anything, I don't think, because they're in too much shade. So, I really should dig those up. I'm going to think about that. I should move them. Waltham Butternut. So glad I planted these. One here. And another one here. So glad. You'll see why later. Um, look at this. My uh, Lantana. The little seed heads. Like, I thought, you know, they were just going to do that green and then they went all purpley how pretty is that now i can see why this thing spreads so prolifically because there are masses of seeds everywhere and it looks like maybe the birds like them something's eating them I mean, i'm not gonna eat them but they're everywhere look at that cool um anyway lantan is looking good look at all my pest pressure i did spray this with captain jacks a few days ago so hopefully it doesn't get any worse but yeah i had to spray because the pests found it and they like it a lot. Um, kale's doing great. Oh, and I see they jumped. They jumped from the Brussels sprout to the kale. Sure did. Catmint doing great. Coleus doing great. Plumeria. I don't think I've seen any flower spikes on this one, like the other one. Um, the little nasturtium, like the heat's just getting to it. It's petered out. Still gotta plant that shrub. Don't hold your breath. Um, my Pandora vine is actually starting to move. It's starting to vine. Look, it's come up here. That's cool. This is alive and I'm excited. It woke up and it started making new leaves. So that's going to be fine. My blue butterfly pea. Oh my God, I have one. <gasps> Let me get in this bed. I love when I find new things for you guys. Like it's real life, real life surprise. Look at there. We're going to have a blue tie butterfly pea. That's so fun. Oh my gosh. I love that. And this vine, I need to train that up. But the vines, look, look. Oh, I forgot how fast these things get huge. This is massive. This probably weighs at least two pounds. Look at that. And last week it was tiny. Yeah. Hold on, let me move my feet. Because they get bigger. Like this one was so this was just a baby last week big i have so many up here 
here, that one there. That one probably weighs three pounds. It's like a bowling ball. And then here, look at that one. Holy moly. It's gigantic. There's a leaf in the way, but yeah, it's so massive. I love these birdhouse gourds. All right, let me get out of this bed and let's go on the outside so I can show you the real heartache. These pests. Anyway, there's that birdhouse gourd again. It's so big. I, I really should have taken more pictures and really documented. I forgot, I've grown these a uh, year before last and I forgot how fast they just get huge. Just really huge. Look at that one. Yeah. And see this little one? By next week when I film again, it'll like be the size of that one. Crazy. Okay. Over here, of course, this has to be cut back, but I'm finally seeing, you know, the, the little fruits here. I don't know if that got pollinated, but that's what the female looks like there. Oh, fun, fun, look here. We're gonna get a moonflower. Look how pretty that is. They just come up like these swirly little, like Dairy Queen ice cream cones. And then they open up to a beautiful, fragrant white flower. So hopefully I can catch one of these um, either at night or first thing in the morning before they die. That's so pretty. Yeah, and we have lots of them coming, so that's fun. But yeah, I'm gonna cut back the cucumber. The squash vine borer has been on this too. So I need to keep an eye out and I probably need to put some dimitaceous earth on the vine. Sunflowers still drooped over since we had that storm a few weeks ago, but it looks like it's ready. These look like, let me brush off some of this here. Yeah. Yeah, look, look at the seeds. How fun is that? Sunflower seeds. Yeah, we will be saving and we will be roasting. How fun. Okay, look at that sunflower forest. All the colors. All the colors. So pretty. And all the pollinators, they are all over it. Look at all the multi heads. Look at this one. I swear to you, I need to get on a ladder. That might be up 15 feet. It's so huge. So huge. Because I'm like down here. And it's like, whoa. So yeah. So even these, I save seeds off these smaller ones too. If the seeds are ready, I will save them. But anyway, I just want to show you. So pretty. And these are just a hybrid cross mix with the Chianti seeds that I bought. And then as it was pollinated by pollinators and I saved the seeds off those heads, when I planted them again this year, I get all these cool colors. So yeah, so I only ever bought one pack of seeds, the Chianti hybrid. And then I get all these pretty ones. I mean, except for the Russian mammoth. Oh, I didn't even see that this big one was open up here. I was looking at the big one that was droopy. Well, hello, way up there. Yeah, yeah, at least, at least 10 feet, at least. That is a badass. Okay, I love it, love it. Okay, here we go. Um, My, Table Queen Acorn is getting new life and I need to cover that vine because look at this here. This was my flat white boar. Guess what happened? Squash vine boar. That's what was making the leaves this color. Freaking squash vine boar decimated all of my flat white boar. All of it all of it is destroyed. Oh, look at it. Look at it. Look at it. Just filleted it right open. Look. look. That's what a squash vine boar will do. It stinks. Smell it. It's disgusting. Anyway, so all that has to come out. Um, real sad about that. It's so pretty. Um, these leaves here where they had rooted in, I'm thinking of cutting them off, you know, here and seeing if this section of vine can survive on its own, but the leaves are already starting to discolor. And that could be a nitrogen issue, like, you know, what's hurting the beans. So if I separate that vine 
from the part that's damaged by the vine bore. Maybe I can save this and still get some pumpkins. We'll see. Uh, rattlesnake pole beans. These are doing well. Need to pick that one. It's pretty. I just love the flowers on them. They're so pretty, but look, there's squash bug. Damn squash bugs. They're awful. So anyway, this is my flat white boar coming across here. And then my uh, blacktail mountain watermelon. Look at that. Got a little watermelons. I have one, two, three, and four. Ooh, got dive bombed by a bug. So four big watermelons, or sort of big watermelons. So look at that. Squash vine board damage. Guess what used to be here? Mm-hmm. My butternut squash. Both of my little babies. I found one on the ground and one barely hanging on. It was rotted right where it connected to the plant right there. It was rotted and they fell off. So I have them in the kitchen. They're still firm. I may try to cook them. They may be too young. They're still really small, but I'm real mad about it. Real mad. <clears throat> yeah. Coming on down, tomatoes. So yesterday, I came over here and I saw a lot of poop. I saw a ton of poop because you know, things just love to poop on my things. And uh, took me a while to see them, but I had two huge tomato hornworms, gigantic. And I sat there and I filmed them. I watched them eat my leaves. And then I went about my business and I'm like, well, I'll get them tomorrow. Now I can't find one, <laughs> but I see the other one. Hold on. Right there. See that? Yeah. Ugly little things. Um, and honestly, I may just cut off that branch and make sure there's a lot of branch and throw him over the fence. That way he can have a last meal before a bird gets him. I'm not going to smash him because my heart won't let me do it. And I don't have chickens anymore. I got rid of those last year. No more chickens because, you know, that would have been good for them. I'm trying to find the other guy, though. That's what happens when you walk away from a pest. Um, anyway, I'll get that guy, and I'll find his little friend, too. <laughs> That's funny. That's funny. Uh, yellow pear, I need to pick those. Um, I have some grapes down here that look like they're... No, I thought they were getting ripe. They're just getting weird with <laughs> all the rot. Okay, Chloe. And then this 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 rudeness rude you know you want to know what else is rude yesterday oh I what the sweat off my face I found this see that see that tomato I didn't put that there and actually yesterday it was just that part minus the squash bug this part that's new so something is picking my tomatoes sitting up here to eat them Realizing they're not ripe yet and leaving them there. Rude. So rude. Anyway. All right. Oh, this right here. This brandy wine is my biggest tomato so far. Look at that. It's gigantic. And I think it weighs at least a pound. So I may double bag it. It's got one bag on it. But you know, they were able to get their little pincers. Their little sucking mouths through the bag on the other ones. I may double bag this one, but oh my God, it feels so good. Oh, there's a bug in there. Oh, the stink bug is in the bag with it. God bless America. I tell you what. All right. After we film, I'm going to suit up and I'm going to get to work on this garden. That makes me mad. It's in the bag with my prized tomato. Oh, okay. Um, litchi. I think we may have a tomato. Look at that. I think that may have gotten pollinated. Look at all the spines on it. That tomato is dangerous. But yeah, I think they're, it's rounded. I think a tomato is going to, oh my gosh, look, look. There he is right there. Squash worm, I mean a uh, 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 tomato hornworm. Right there. Is he eating a lychee? I don't think he'd eat the lychee because of the thorns. Um, so I will probably lose him. Uh, Oh, hey there. Oh, dang it. All right, hold on. Uh, oh. Yeah, 
They're huge. They're huge. Hold on. Let me get my clippers. I gotta get my clippers. Might as well get the other one while we're over here. Which means there's probably three, because I don't know if that one from yesterday could have gotten way over there so soon. Ugh, that's what I get for leaving them. Guess I'll have to come back later. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. I'll come back later. Let's continue with the tour. Which tomato? So I think I have at least one. These, see that doesn't look like it got pollinated. So at least one, I'll take it. We said, see? That. that poop? More poop? Mm-hmm. <sighs> give up. No, I don't, I don't give up. Never give up. Um, yep, look at that. Look at that. That's my uh, Seminole pumpkin. See that? That squash vine bore. It got into the vine. And that's all the grossness. That's all the grossness that comes out when they... Oh. Okay, so I got to start over my pumpkins. Um, I'm going to start over uh, my flat white bore. See that? Yep. Stem is just ruined. Bastards. Okay. Anyway. Oh, the white, uh, sorry, the small Persian cantaloupe uh, melon. I don't even know if squash vine bore um, attack cantaloupe. That vine looks okay. Uh, this vine looks okay. Um, the leaves are turning yellow. Um, I'll probably just clip those off. That could be maybe powdery mildew or something. Um, but overall, this is doing really well. I'm pleased with it. Um, and these little melons aren't growing very fast. They're very fuzzy and cute, but they're still very small. It's very firm, so I'm pretty sure that one got pollinated. Um, but yeah, they just, uh, seem to be really slow. Oh, there's one. Oh, that's a nice one. Okay, that one's way bigger. Maybe that one got pollinated. And the other one didn't because the other one is still the same size it was weeks ago. I don't know. At least two weeks it's been that size. This one's a good size. There you go. Small Persian cantaloupe melon. And then we have some muncher cucumbers. Look at that. That muncher there. Yeah. There we go. That one. I mean, I don't mind eating them small. I'll let that one get a little bit bigger. Um, this one here looks good size. Yeah. I don't want the seeds to get tough and I don't want them to get bitter. So I do pick them kind of small. So I'll leave that one. I'll leave that one. Okay, well that's good. Now this kooka melon, I've had people ask me on Instagram, when do you know when they're ready? And I'm like, I don't know, this is my first one ever in my life, so I have no idea. I don't know, but it's been here about a week. Maybe I give it a few more days before I pick it? I don't know. I don't wanna eat it when it's not ripe, but I don't want it to get overripe. I'm gonna leave it. It's cute, but I'm gonna leave it. And then these, uh miniature white cucumbers. These I've noticed I have to pick small. Like I have to pick them when they're just a little bit bigger in a golf ball or else um, the seeds inside get real tough. Um, and it seems like the more yellow, the more yellow it is, the like the tougher the seeds are. And that's a tiny, look at that. That's like a ping pong there. 
It's so yellow. Anyway, got that. Um, and there's quite a few more cooking. This thing is so prolific. Just wonderful. Yeah. Real pleased. Like I said, one of my faves. Real pleased with this miniature white. Okay. Um, and then of course, Richmond Green Apple. I still have no idea if I have any that are ready. All right, let's take a look at the circle bed. I'll just leave that there. All right, circle bed. Um, I probably need to move the little spray head sprinkler around. This looks a little droopy, like it's getting dry. I'm still not happy with this Russian sage. Like, and it's not happy, I'm not happy. Nobody's happy about that. Golden Edge Duranta is just getting so big. Look at that. Um, looks like St. Patrick is going to make another bloom. I need to get out here with the Captain Jacks for the budworms. Still have not deadheaded that. Mm -hmm. I know. I know you're shocked. I haven't done it. My uh, mini rose, the pink one, looks so pretty. And it has done so well since I started spraying. Um, the buds look good. The foliage looks good. It's not all chewed up. So I just need to come out here and deadhead. This yellow rose, need to deadhead that. Um, but it's doing great. And this yellow rose is doing wonderful. Um, I need to deadhead the blooms from last week. They are done. But yeah, I kind of like the two-tone effect though. It's very pretty. I do need to pull weeds. Um, there's a pretty new bloom. But yeah, the artichokes are doing fine. Still have not planted that grape. Golly. Um, got lots of new buds on Eternal Flame. The pest pressure is almost completely gone no chewed up leaves and it's blooming nice and this one is very fragrant it smells wonderful so eternal flame this artichoke is actually bigger than that one over there that used to be bigger yeah it's looking good a lot of weeds though a lot of weeds this circle bed is not looking good right now hopefully when you see it next week it won't look like garbage because right now i feel like it looks like garbage it's just um peaked and neglected and garbage. Well, maybe garbage is harsh, but yeah. Yeah, there's just a lot of stuff going on with Bermuda grass and weeds and dryness and droopiness and sad plants that really just don't want to be here. That's what I mean by, you know, garbage. <laughs> anyway, so the pests are so rude and they're really making my life difficult because it's really hot out here. It's really hot and it's really humid, but I'm gonna have to spend a lot more time out here. Um, you know, and I was worried that I was planting too much and I might get overwhelmed. And for a while, I felt like, oh, I can plant more, I can deal with more. But now that all the pests are here, um, I think this is probably the right amount of <laughs> things to have to deal with. And then when things cool off, or maybe, you know, next month I'll start planting uh, things for fall. So, all right. Well, that's it for this week, week 11. Thanks for watching. Bye.